Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, do you remember the other day when we made that dulce de leche in the Instant Pot? And I told you I'd come up, show you some recipes that you could um, use it for. Well, today we're going to do just that. So I took one of the pint jars that had the can of dulce de leche in it that I made. And I just have it over here heating, thinning out a little bit on the stove. And we're going to make dulce de leche pecan coconut bars. So I've got a cup and a quarter of flour here. I'm just going to put about a quarter teaspoon of salt in that. And let's bring that together. Just get the salt mixed into that flour. And then we're going to set this aside. And into here I've got a half a cup of stick of butter. It's at room temperature. You want it at room temperature so it will incorporate the sugar that we're going to put in there. Oops. This. And we're going to... Put a third of a cup of sugar, just plain white sugar, in here. And sorry about the noise, but we're going to turn on the stand mixer and just incorporate that butter and sugar. We just want to get that sugar in there to incorporate, make it creamy. The sugar is a little rough on the side, so that breaks up the butter and creams it. Just bringing that together. There we go. And now I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Bring that together. I do need to get a little of that butter off of this. Get it down into the entire mixture. Now we're doing this in two parts. This part we're doing right here is going to be for the crust of the cookie bars. Okay, that's nice and creamed. Now we're just going to add in the flour and salt just a little bit at a time. You don't want to do it all once, it will explode on you. Plus, it doesn't incorporate well when you put it all at the same time. This is going to be a thick dough. This is a nice cookie to make when you don't want to stand there and get the old cookie cutter out or the cookie dough press. Just bake them all in one sheet and just cut them. Wipe down the side. They've got some flour there. And I've already got a 9 by 13 pan over here. It's already greased. Cookie spray, or cooking spray, basically. Okay, that's all brought together. Now we have the fun part of cleaning off the whisk attachment. We're just going to get all that out of there. Now these are going to be very rich. We only have a third of a cup of sugar in the uh, dough, but we're putting a dulce de leche on top. And that's going to be very sweet. So you're not going to need a big, couple big pieces of this, just a little piece at a time. Whoops. Some got away there. I'm using my fingers. It's a lot easier. Okay. Mix her out the way. And we'll bring over our pan. We're just going to take this and we're going to press it down into the bottom of this 9 by 13 pan. 
There's not a lot of dough here, so it's going to be a thin layer. When I have dough like this, I'm going to show you what I like to do. Let's get a little wax paper or parchment paper, whichever one I pull out first. And I'm at the end of the roll, so it's not staying together very well. And I'm just going to push it down with this. That way it's not sticking to my hands. And spread it out a little easier. Push get it out on the other side. I knew I'd have to get my fingers in here. All right. You can always flour your hand a little bit if you want. Okay, let me rinse off my hand. Throw away the parchment paper. Feel that butter all over my fingers. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven. It's already preheated at 350 degrees. We're just going to bake it for maybe 12, 14 minutes until it's golden brown, and we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I got the uh, crust out of the oven. I just baked it for, it took about 17 minutes, so maybe 15 to 80, 18 minutes, how long we should bake. I just wanted to start browning a little bit around the edge. I did use a fork and dock it like I would a pie crust so it didn't puff up. So I'm just going to let that cool for a second while we get our dulce de leche sauce going here. I've got this over a very low medium heat, and it is a little thick still. So I'm going to add in maybe a tablespoon or two of heavy cream just to thin it out a little bit. There we go. So it looks about a tablespoon and a half. And then I've got about a cup and a half of half pecans. I'm going to just crush these up, put these in. Oops, a couple of big ones. Get that one. I love pecans. Okay, move this over here out of the way. We're going to just dump these pecans right into the sauce. And I've got a cup of coconut. Just going to add that in there. And turn that off now. Just gonna bring this all together. I think I will put maybe another tablespoon or two of cream in there just to thin it out a little so it's easy to spread. All right, now let me get a trivet and my hot pads over here. Now we're just going to spread this right over the crust. I just put it down a couple different blotches so it's easier to spread in each area. All of that out there. This smells delicious. It smells almost like what I would put on top of my German chocolate cake. You set this in the bowl over here. 
And now we're just going to spread this out. Try to give it as even as possible. You don't have to make sure it's totally even because we're going to put it back in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes and it's going to start heating up that dulce de leche. It's going to start spreading out and bubbling up and going everywhere on here. Now, unfortunately, when we take it out, we're not going to be cutting it. We're going to have to let it sit for about an hour before we can cut into it. So I've still got the oven at 350. There we go. It's right over there. All right. Mm. Saving this for me. So now let's put this back in. First, I'm going to put, I just like to put a little salt over the top. It's like a salted caramel, salted dulce de leche. The sugar, sweetness, and the salt combined gives you a great flavor, believe it or not. So now I'm going to put this back in for about 12 to 14 minutes. Once that caramel's all bubbly and spread out, I'll take it out to cool it and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's been about an hour. I let them cool. I had a lot of trouble waiting, but they look delicious. Ooh, still warm. You can see all the caramel down in there. I'm going to try it. It's like a little biscuit on the bottom. Mm. That coconut the pecans, the dulce de leche. Whew, I'm gonna need a shot of insulin. This is good. Hmm. Sorry. These are good. You all gotta give these a try. Mm. Excuse me, let me get a drink of water. So I'll put, as always, I'm gonna put the recipe down below with all the ingredients. Don't forget to hit this uh, like button, smash the subscribe, and don't forget to share this with your friends. It helps us get our videos out to everybody. I feel very blessed that y'all invite me into your homes all the time. I can't wait to see you again next time, and until then, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>